Hi, I'm CeCe Thornes with IDA TV here at the great train show, the nation's biggest coast-to-coast -coast model train show to find out what makes this one of the most popular hobbies in the country. with all of this? I inherited, I inherited my love for trains from my dad. My dad was a train nut and just kind of carried on in the family. Is there anything that makes your display unique? What's so unique about it? Well, we're one, the uh, main layout over on this side, all those cars are actually powered off the overhead wire, just like the real thing. And from what we understand, we're one of three or maybe four modular clubs in the United States that do that. Our big thing right now is the LA models of Los Angeles current light rail vehicle. They're running on all four of the lines in Los Angeles, gold, blue, green, and Expo. And um, they're all 3D printed. Like any hobby, is it addicting once you get started? How do you keep yeah. growing? <laughs> Just trying new things. One of the things we're doing is we're involving computers like Arduinos and Raspberry Pis into the system. Like this one later, we have a setup where the train will pull up and stop and wait for the next train and switch the switch and the next train will pull up and then the Arduino will figure it out and then send out the next train. So it looks like a train is sitting in the, in the station and it doesn't, like people are getting on the train and then the next train pulls up and the old train pulls out. So. in model train collecting? Well, my husband started it when he was in middle school and continued through high school, put it down for a while, and then uh, about 10 years ago, really picked up an interest because of our, our children and wanted to do it with them. Um, so I just married to him and I discovered it with him and so it's a, lot, it's a lot of fun. Well, when I was little, I was always into Thomas and kind of still am. And you know, it kind of helps spawn an interest in model trains too, you know, and it's like something about like the charm of it, you know, like it's not a dying hobby if like more people are into it and you know, it's like a good pastime to have, you know, and collect. My grandfather started this company in the 70s and he left it to me when he passed away about eight years ago. So it's a family business. It, it seems like model train collecting is passed down from generation to generation. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be a very family oriented hobby. We manufacture display cases for trains of all sizes, from N gauge up to G gauge. And we do them in various lengths, and we do custom as well. It's all my dad's fault. I'm four years old, and he had a Lionel train upstairs. So I was not allowed to touch it, but I was able to sit under the table and listen to it. I know with technology being so popular, do you feel like model train can continue, and how will it continue? Uh, yeah, and it, it certainly has adapted. Uh, in the old days, you would run in, uh, just a power pack, and sort of the more power you gave it, the faster the train went. Now you can run trains right from your smartphone. You can have a layout. You can control that train right from your iPhone or your Samsung, and you, you do all the work. You can switch. You can run the accessories. So model editing's kept up with technology as, as it's progressed, just like everything else. What do you like about trains? Mm, there's lots of different kinds. I'm retired. Uh, since I've been retired five years, I've, I've picked up 
model railroading as a hobby. Um, I think, in looking around, you'll see uh, you know a lot of seniors, and and it's a wonderful hobby. You know, they they call model railroading America's greatest hobby, and it you can spend all day in the garage working on your on your buildings and your railroad and and your and your and your thinking on your next project, but. I just find it very, very, very relaxing. You know, it's it's like I have a man cave, and so I go out, and that's where I do the railroad. Because they have this the smoke and the coal cars. Just fascinated with them when I was a little kid growing up. Never got too old for it. And how can someone who's interested get started? Come here and meet people so they can show you the right direction to go. Are you also into model trains? I mostly help or make a mess. One of the two. How did he get you involved in it? What made you want to do it too? Just kind of watching him work and seeing how it, his face lit up when he got certain things to work and you learn how the electricity runs through everything else and you go, oh, this makes sense because it's a real life thing.